Hello Metropolitan, this is Michelle and I wanted to go through these steps on how to send a fillable lease application to your clients directly from ZipForms so you don't have to send it to them as a PDF and then they print it out, fill it out, you know, all that. This basically bypasses all of that and makes it a lot easier. So the first thing you're going to do is go into your ZipForms account and log in. And I'm going to pretend like this is someone brand new that I just started working with. So I don't even have anything created in zip forms at all for them. So what I'm going to do is click on new and I'm going to select new lease because this is a new lease I'm working with uh, someone on, not a listing. Once I select that, I'm going to put the property that they're going to apply for, which I'm just going to name 123 Smith Street and I'm going to select residential and then we also have down here as far as status I just usually leave it as active and then you should have available under templates uh, right here it'll say office metropolitan templates um, if you've created your own personal templates you will have that as well these are three of my old templates I used to use as a full-time agent so I still have them in there but in this case we're going to select Office Metropolitan Lease Tenant Template. Once I've selected that, I'm going to click Save. And it should open up into my very new transaction that I've created um, just to kind of expedite this and, and get to the whole point of why I'm doing this video. We're going to go ahead and skip on over to Parties. In order to send this as a fillable application, you're going to need to fill in the contact information of who is applying. So in this case, we're going to do Shelly Smith. I'm going to put my email address just because it's a sample um, that I'm showing you guys. And I'm going to save that. And then um, let's go ahead and do tenant number two, Bobby Smith. And I'm actually going to just put my email again. I'm just putting in whatever. Um, obviously, you would put the correct information for your clients. Okay, so I've got Shelly Smith and Bobby Smith. So uh, now we're going to go to the t document tab. Once I go in there, all the forms that were already in that template that you applied to the transaction should pull up. These are common uh, documents that we put in there for you guys and try to um, fill in whatever common information goes into like company information for the fields. So in this case, we're going to look for a residential lease application. So uh, we see here there's just one. I'm going to show you guys something. When you go up doing a search for forms, I'm going to go to all. I'm going to type in application. You'll notice all this list of applications that come up. So right here, one through four, if you just put your mouse over it, you'll see the name of it is called residential lease application number one, and it says agent in parentheses. This agent version of the application will not send as a fillable form to your client. You need to select the one that says residential lease application applicant which is in the parentheses. You'll notice that there is one, two, three, four of the one that says agent, and then there's five, six, seven, eight that say applicant. We're gonna focus just on the applicant. Since I have two applicants, I need to send two applications. The first one's already in my template. I'm gonna go ahead and add a second one for Bobby Smith. Now, this is the one form that you don't necessarily need to fill anything out. If you click on the application, uh, you can put the information here of the property that they're applying for and include the dates and the security deposit amount, you know, all of that. Or you may leave that part blank and then fill it in later. You decide how you want to send that. But everything else, there's nothing to fill out. So what we're going to do is go back to our original list and I'm gonna select e sign up here on the top left hand corner. When I click e sign, we're gonna send a new uh, task out for uh, them to fill out. So we're gonna select residential lease application number five, 
and we're going to look for that other one that I added in there because I've got two different people. Here's a very important step that you want to make sure not to miss because then it won't work. Right here under signing service, it's probably going to pop up as DocuSign for most of you who are using that. It's a company paid uh, program that we provide you guys all to have. Well, in this case, we actually want to send it as Digital Ink. Zip Logics Digital Ink. I'm going to select that. And I'm going to go ahead and change the name of this packet to Lease Applications. We're going to click Next. And it's going to ask me who needs to fill out these applications. So we want Mr. Bobby and Ms. Shelley to fill them out. Got both of them. And we're going to click Next. And then the next page that you see is going to pull up the documents that they both are going to need to fill out. And what is really cool about this is, if you will notice, these fields all have like text boxes in every single spot, and that's what they're going to fill out. So that, this is the first application. And then as I continue to scroll, we now are at the second application. It sends each application individually to them to sign or to fill out separately. So that's about it. Uh, once you hit the send button here at the top right hand corner, it will send this to um, both of the email addresses that you put in um, in there for them. And that's about it. Once they're done filling that out, you will receive notification of that in your email account and you will have a copy of it. And then y'all are ready to rock and roll. I hope this helps. And if you have any questions, don't ever hesitate to reach out and ask and we'll do what we can to help you. Wishing you guys a great day. Bye.